uh, about to load up on some new drip, yeah? Balling, bro. He's got the new drip. The gal ain't gonna be dripping wet. Let's go pick up some gal. What they call it? Primani. Primani, you know. Who the hell even came up with that word, but. Jokes aside, though. You see how, like, man's recording that I've gone to Primark. And I just come from the Primark in Wood Green. You see how I've just recorded that I've just come from Primark and I'm walking around with a Primark bag. You know, there's certain man, certain girl, they wouldn't want to be seen dead with a Primark bag, you know. There's certain people, yeah, when they go to Primark and that, they will bring their own bag for life, you know, them heavy duty things and that, so that they can put their Primark stuff in there. It's not because, oh, they don't want to pay for it. And I, I think these bags are free anyway. They just don't want to be seen with a Primark bag. I've been with a man. I, I know an idiot, trust me. Remember one time I was walking down uh, Oxford Street Walking down Oxford Street now Said to a man, yeah look I'm just going to quickly go in uh, Primark, innit He's like, ah, oh, um, yeah I I'll go in the shop over there, innit I was like, what, you don't want to come to Primark? And he's like, nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not being seen in Primark I said, bloody, are you serious? I'm like, yeah A man did not want to come into Primark A man didn't come into Primark, you know He said, I'll meet you up afterwards, you know I literally went into Primark on my own Spun the block they didn't even come out with nothing. I'm thinking to myself, rah. Man, I'm really worried about their image to that degree where they don't even want to be seen in Primark, let alone walking around with a Primark bag. Bro. But these are the same idiots. They're obsessed with brands. Do you know why I don't care whether people see me with a Primark bag? Do you know the real reason? When you've got money, when you know you have value and you have a self-worth and that, you don't give a fuck about your external image. Yeah, obviously to some degree you want, you, you care about people's uh, opinions of you to some degree and that, but you don't care about your external image. If you truly are a man of value and you've got money, you don't give a fuck about being seen to look broke for one or two days and that. These same people that are worried about, oh, I can only be seen when LV or Moncler or Gucci and that, these are the same people, they don't own their fucking property blood. And they never will, blood. You see, owning a property is a mindset thing. It's the mindset of, fuck wearing Gucci and buying all of that nonsense. And I'm not saying don't buy local one, two items here and there. But fuck all of that. Delay gratification. Let me save up 30 grand. Then afterwards, when I'm making a little bit of money off my properties in that, then I might buy a little Gucci here and there. And don't get twisted. When you're saving up the 30 grand and that, that don't mean that you can't buy a little Gucci here and there. But it's all in moderation and that. What's moderation? If you're only on two, three, four thousand pounds a, a month, then when you're buying jackets and that, they should be a fraction of your fucking daily wage. So if you're on about four grand a month, I don't know, your daily wage is going to probably be about 200 pounds or something like that. You should be purchasing clothes and garments that are like a fraction of your daily wage. Not you have to save up four or five days or a week's wage to buy this jacket and you're doing that on a, on a regular basis. Now, that's stupidness. I don't feel no way to go in Prime. I don't feel no way to wear Primark clothes. I don't feel no way to walk around with a Primark bag. Don't get twisted. During lockdown, though, you know, like when they'll. Bro, this guy's gonna hit my car. Oh, shit. You know, during lockdown, though, um, you know, like you had to line up outside the shops and that. I remember I, I was lining up outside the Wood Green uh, Primark and that. And there was a there was obviously it's Wood Green High Street and there's bare buses going past and I was like, yeah, this is like the broke people line, isn't it? But I, I'm still gonna go in there. I'm still gonna walk with a Primark bag. You, you know what I'm trying to say? I don't really care in it, yeah. But I was just sitting there thinking like this is like the the closed version equivalent of the food bank. There is some madness going on on these roads, boy. But anyway, yeah, man, I feel no way to wear to look rough. I feel no way to walk around in Primark clothes and that, or with a Primark bag. There's certain people, even if they're just going to drop off uh, clothes in a charity shop, they wouldn't want to do it. They wouldn't want to be seen in a charity shop. Blood, if you know you got money and you're a man of value and substance, or you're a gal of value and substance, you got money, you won't give a shit about being seen in a charity shop and that. So what if someone sees you in a charity shop? 
How does someone not know you just went in there to say hello to someone or you're dropping off clothes and that? So when you're too conscious of your image and that, you, 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 you lose track of what's important. You literally lose track of what's important. When you're too worried about your image. I've stood up on, in, on the street talking to a man who's homeless. I don't give a fuck. You can think what you want. Oh, why, why is he talking to that homeless guy? Bitch, I've got four fucking properties. I've got three in this country and one in the next country. But man can't tell me nothing. I don't give a damn if I'm seen talking to a homeless man on the street. I really don't care. I ain't associating with no one who's homeless. Not because, oh, you know, they're, 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 they're poor, they look like a trap. No, they're not in the right headspace to be with, man. They, they, they're not on the right path. They're not making it under themselves. It's not because, oh, the image of them being poor or not. Wh whether they got the image of being a homeless person or not, I'm not rolling around with no one that's doing nothing with themselves. I'm not hanging around with no one that sits around burning weed. Even if they have a job. I'm not hanging around with people that smoke weed. I don't hang around with people that smoke weed, blood. It's got nothing to nothing to do with ah uh, if they're homeless and that. Nah, I don't. You gotta be on the same wavelength as me to spend time with man. That's why I don't hang around with no one. I just do my own thing because the man them is not on the same wavelength as man. I ain't got no one around me that's on the same wavelength. So you know what? I just keep to myself. I literally just keep to myself. I've got man phoning me up. The first thing they're talking about is gal, gal, gal. I don't. I'm not interested in talking about gal. I'm not interested, blood. Tell me about business, man. Tell me about these properties that you want to buy. Need to be around that's around man that's making moves, blood. Not just staying stagnant. Just coasting along through life, living every day. No. Time is limited. It is a gift. It, you are blessed if you have a healthy brain, healthy body, and you're going to waste your time running around chasing girls and having girls on your mind 24-7. To the point when you phone up a man, the first thing you got to talk about is gal, gal, gal. Now, I'm not interested, blood. Not interested. I mean, big up man like Andrew T. I remember he said in one of his podcasts and that. He said, when you get to a certain level, I think the reason why he said he started, started that war room thing, his network, is because when you get to a certain level, you realise everyone around you is a fucking idiot. When he said that, when I was driving my car, I remember I was near this roundabout near this college in in Northampton and I remember when he said it in one of his podcasts I was driving I was listening to it he said yeah when you get to a certain level you just realise every, everyone around you is a fucking idiot I said to myself I know exactly what you mean I think I even said it out loud I said I know exactly what you mean everyone around you is a fucking idiot or people around you they're just distracted they're not focused they're not focused on nothing and I can't have people like that around me so literally, there's certain people out here, they're so focused on their self-image and that, what people think about them, they would never uh, even show or let anyone know that they wear Primark clothes. It's just fucking clothes, blood. Who gives a shit? Let me tell you something, yeah? Some people try to lie and say, oh, the reason why they buy certain name-branded clothes, Moncler, Hermes, Gucci, LV, Prada, whatever, the reason why they wear it is because, oh, it's the quality and that. Not really. It's the brand and what it represents. It represents luxury. And I tell you how I know it's not solely for the quality and that. That might be a small percentage. That might be a small part of it. I'll tell you why. I know it's about the brand and what it represents and that, the image. Because these same clothes that these people buy, if you had the same Montclair jacket that had no signage, no livery on it, you didn't know that it was a Montclair jacket, but yet still it cost £800. You could confuse it with a peacock jacket or a fucking H&M jacket. The same Montclair jacket that cost £800, if it had nothing on it, it was plain as fucking, yeah, a white t-shirt. If it was plain, no brand or nothing like that, they would not buy the fucking jacket. So you know what it's about, blood. You know what it's about. They're just buying it because of what image it represents and that. But this is why I don't feel sorry for none of these people that are broke or in financial debt and that. I know, trust me, I know, man. Oh, yeah, man, I got a wardrobe full of 20 grand. Blood. You could have bought a property with that that would be turning over a thousand pounds a month. Okay, the, the, the profit might be 400, I don't know. But you could have bought a property with that 20,000 pounds and it could be turning over a thousand pounds for you every single month. Imagine that over a five year period. And 
Remember, that property is going up, you know. So the reason why these men buy these watches and, and they try to justify buying the watch over buying a property. Oh, it goes up in value quicker and that. Yeah, that might be true. It's a fucking good byproduct and, and that. But the sole reason why you're buying this watch over buying a property and that. It's the stunt. It's the stunt. Trust me, I see through all the bullshit in that. You got men who are right-handed, yeah? If you're going to drive with one hand, you're going to drive with the hand that you've got the most control and dominance over, which is your right hand. But I see man driving with their left hand on the steering wheel, filming through the windscreen, yeah? I know why the fuck they're driving with their left hand, although they're right-handed. You know, like 80% of the people are right-handed, right? Something like that. The reason why they're driving with their left hand and they're filming is because they want to get the watching on sly. I ain't fucking stupid. I am not fucking stupid. I see bear man on the net doing this. I just feel you fucking dickhead. You're going to get yourself pitched, blood. It happens. It's happened. I've made videos about this, blood. The thing is as well, you're trying to act rich to attract these girls, but you're attracting trash. I know you're attracting trash because any girl that knows man that is willing to kill over a watch is trash. Therefore, by default, that girl is trash. Because my girlfriend does not know anyone that is willing to kill someone over a fucking watch, blood. Even willing to rob someone over a fucking watch. Yeah, she knows man that will bust man up and mash man up. But other than that, she don't know no one that's going to go out of their way to orchestrate crimes and that. Nah. So by default, these girls that know man that are willing to mash up and stab up and brock up man over a watch and that and... Fam, man will just think, yeah, I'll just poke him in his shoulder, miss his shoulder, plug it in his chest, one shot, dead. Six foot in the ground, turn man pat blood. You're in jail, 20, 25. She's also in jail, 15, because she's set up. You got the family mourning that all this could have been avoided. If you didn't bother be stunting on the net and if you didn't have man that just want quick money in that. Because, okay, yeah, you go on uh, mash up a man and teeth his watch and that and shot it. How much are you really going to get for it? Let's say you get 20 grand. What comes fast goes fast. You will burn, spend all that money within a couple of weeks, a month, tops. Then what? Then you're on to the next move. It's this constant revolving door, blood. It's bullshit. Man, I need to get off the road, blood. I would love to continue this video, you know, but I'm boiling in here. But man, I need to get off the road, man. I would hate to still be on road, just, just looking for moves and that. Blood, I need structure in my life. Getting up, going to work. See, certain man don't like the structure and that. Oh, blood, I need structure in my life. Yeah, get up, go to work, come home, make videos and that. When I got more spare time, like I'm working on a local board game as well and that. Yeah, I'll let you lot know when it drops and that. I need structure in my life, man. I can't, you can't just be living every day as it comes and that, like, bullshit, man. But anyway, that's it for today. I'm boiling up. Stay worse. Done, though.